Physiologically Based Pharmacokinetic Modeling, Wikipedia Article Audio Physiologically Based Pharmacokinetic Modeling is a mathematical modeling technique for predicting the absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion of synthetic or natural chemical substances in humans and other animal species. PBPK modeling is used in pharmaceutical research and drug development and in health risk assessment for cosmetics or general chemicals. History PBPK models strive to be mechanistic by mathematically transcribing anatomical, physiological, physical, and chemical descriptions of the phenomena involved in the complex ADME processes. A large degree of residual simplification and empiricism is still present in those models, but they have an extended domain of applicability compared to that of classical, empirical function-based, pharmacokinetic models. PBPK models may have purely predictive uses, but other uses, such as statistical inference, have been made possible by the development of Bayesian statistical tools able to deal with complex models. That is true for both toxicity risk assessment and therapeutic drug development. PBPK models try to rely a priori on the anatomical and physiological structure of the body, and to a certain extent, on biochemistry. They are usually multi-compartment models, with compartments corresponding to predefined organs or tissues, with interconnections corresponding to blood or lymph flows. A system of differential equations for concentration or quantity of substance on each compartment can be written, and its parameters represent blood flows, pulmonary ventilation rate, organ volumes etc., for which information is available in scientific publications. Indeed, the description they make of the body is simplified and a balance needs to be struck between complexity and simplicity. Besides the advantage of allowing the recruitment of a priori information about parameter values, these models also facilitate interspecies transpositions or extrapolation from one mode of administration to another. An example of a seven-compartment PBPK model, suitable to describe the fate of many solvents in the mammalian body, is given in the figure on the right. Building a PBPK model The first pharmacokinetic model described in the scientific literature was in fact a PBPK model. It led, however, to computations intractable at that time. The focus shifted then to simpler models, for which analytical solutions could be obtained the availability of computers and numerical integration algorithms marked a renewed interest in physiological models in the early 1970s. For substances with complex kinetics, or when interspecies extrapolations were required, simple models were insufficient and research continued on physiological models. By 2010, Hundreds of scientific publications have described and used PBPK models, and at least two private companies are basing their business on their expertise in this area. Basic Transport Equations The model equations follow the principles of mass transport, fluid dynamics, and biochemistry in order to simulate the fate of a substance in the body. Compartments are usually defined by grouping organs or tissues with similar blood perfusion rate and lipid content. Ports of entry, ports of exit and target organs for therapeutic effect or toxicity are often left separate. Bone can be excluded from the model if the substance of interest does not distribute to it. Connections between compartment follow physiology. Modeling inputs Drug distribution into a tissue can be rate limited by either perfusion or permeability. Perfusion rate limited kinetics apply when the tissue membranes present no barrier to diffusion. Blood flow, assuming that the drug is transported mainly by blood, 
as is often the case, is then the limiting factor to distribution in the various cells of the body. That is usually true for small lipophilic drugs. Under perfusion limitation, the instantaneous rate of entry for the quantity of drug in a compartment is simply equal to volumetric flow rate through the organ times the incoming blood concentration. In that case, for a generic compartment I, the differential equation for the quantity QI of substance, which defines the rate of change in this quantity, is ingestion D Q I D T equals F I C A R T Q I P I V I backslash over D T equals F Skin Depot Where F I is blood flow C art incoming arterial blood concentration, PI the tissue over blood partition coefficient and VI the volume of compartment I. A complete set of differential equations for the seven compartment model shown above could therefore be given by the following table. Intravenous injection Inhalation Modeling metabolism Uses of PBPK modeling The above equations include only transport terms and do not account for inputs or outputs. Those can be modeled with specific terms, as in the following. Modeling inputs is necessary to come up with a meaningful description of a chemical's pharmacokinetics. The following examples show how to write the corresponding equations. When dealing with an oral bolus dose, first-order absorption is a very common assumption. In that case the gut equation is augmented with an input term, with an absorption rate constant Ka. D, Q, G, D, T, equals, F, G, C, A, R, T, Q, G, P, G, V, G plus K A Q I N G backslash over D T equals F plus K Q. That requires defining an equation for the quantity ingested and present in the gut lumen. D Q I N G D T equals K A Q I N G backslash over DT equals KQ. In the absence of a gut compartment, input can be made directly in the liver. However, in that case local metabolism in the gut may not be correctly described. The case of approximately continuous absorption can be modeled by a zero-order absorption rate. D, Q, G, D, T equals F G C A R T Q G P G V G plus R I N G backslash over D T equals F plus R. More sophisticated gut absorption model can be used. In those models, Additional compartments describe the various sections of the gut lumen and tissue. Intestinal pH, transit times and presence of active transporters can be taken into account. Doses, e.g., from the high concentrations typically used in laboratory experiments to those found in the environment, exposure duration, e.g., from continuous to discontinuous or single to multiple exposures, routes of administration, e.g., from inhalation exposures to ingestion, species, e.g., transpositions from rodents to human, prior to giving a drug for the first time to subjects of a clinical trial, or when experiments on humans are deemed unethical, such as when the compound is toxic. Without therapeutic benefit, Individuals, e.g., 
from males to females, from adults to children, from non-pregnant women to pregnant, from in vitro to in vivo. The absorption of a chemical deposited on skin can also be modeled using first-order terms. It is best in that case to separate the skin from the other tissues, to further differentiate exposed skin and non-exposed skin, and differentiate viable skin from the stratum corneum. This is the approach taken in. Unexposed stratum corneum simply exchanges with the underlying viable skin by diffusion. D, Q, S, C, U, D, T, equals, K, P, times S, S, times, 1, F, S, E, times, Q, S, U, P, S, C, V, S, C, U, C, S, C, U, backslash over D, T, equals, K, backslash, times, S, backslash, times, backslash, times. Where, K, P, is, S, S, is the total skin surface area, F, S, E, the fraction of skin surface area exposed. For the viable skin unexposed. D, Q, S, U, D, T, equals, F, S, 1, F, S, E, C. A, R, T, Q, S, U, P, S, V, S, U, D, Q, S, C, U, D, T, backslash over D, T equals F, backslash over D, T. For the skin stratum corneum exposed. D, Q, S, C, E, D. T equals K P times S S times F S E times Q S E P S C V S C E C S C E backslash over D T equals K backslash times S backslash times F backslash times for the viable skin exposed. D, Q, S, E, D, T, equals, F, S, F, S, E, C, A, R, T, Q, S, E, P, S, V, S, E, D, Q, S, C, E, D, T, Backslash over DT equals FF, backslash over DT. DT and DT feed from arterial blood and back to venous blood. More complex diffusion models have been published. Intravenous injection is a common clinical route of administration. Inhalation occurs through the lung and is hardly dissociable from exhalation. Limits and Extensions of PBPK Modeling There are several ways metabolism can be modeled. For some models, a linear excretion rate is preferred. This can be accomplished with a simple differential equation. Otherwise a Michaelis-Menten equation, as follows, is generally appropriate for a more accurate result. PBPK models are compartmental models like many others, but they have a few advantages over so-called classical pharmacokinetic models, which are less grounded in physiology. PBPK models can first be used to abstract and eventually reconcile disparate data they give also access to internal body concentrations of chemicals or their metabolites, and in particular at the site of their effects be it therapeutic or toxic. Finally they also help interpolation and extrapolation of knowledge between. Some of these extrapolations are parametric, 
only changes in input or parameter values are needed to achieve the extrapolation. Others are non-parametric in the sense that a change in the model structure itself is needed. Owing to the mechanistic basis of PBPK models, another potential use of PBPK modeling is hypothesis testing. For example, if a drug compound showed lower than expected oral bioavailability, various model structures and parameter values can be evaluated to determine which models and slash or parameters provide the best fit to the observed data. If the hypothesis that metabolism in the intestines was responsibility for the low bioavailability yielded the best fit, then the PBPK modeling results support this hypothesis over the other hypotheses evaluated. As such, PBPK modeling can be used, inter alia, to evaluate the involvement of carrier-mediated transport, clearance saturation, enterohepatic recirculation of the parent compound, extrahepatic slash extragut elimination, higher in vivo solubility than predicted in vitro, drug-induced gastric emptying delays, gut loss and regional variation in gut absorption. Each type of modeling technique has its strengths and limitations. PBPK modeling is no exception. One limitation is the potential for a large number of parameters, some of which may be correlated. This can lead to the issues of parameter identifiability and redundancy. However, it is possible to model explicitly the correlations between parameters. However, if such equations involve only linear functions of each compartmental value, or under limiting conditions that guarantee such linearity is closely approximated, such equations may be solved analytically to yield explicit equations for the time-weighted average value of each compartment as a function of the TWA value of each specified input. PBPK models can rely on chemical property prediction models on one hand. For example, QSAR models can be used to estimate partition coefficients. They also extend into, but are not destined to supplant, systems biology models of metabolic pathways. They are also parallel to physiome models but do not aim at modeling physiological functions beyond fluid circulation in detail. In fact the above four types of models can reinforce each other when integrated. Forums Software BioDMET, Gastro Plus, Maxim2, PKSIM, PKQuest, PSE, GCOAS, Sensip Simulator, ADME Workbench. Adapt 5, Berkeley Madonna, Copa C, Biochemical System Simulator, Ecoligo, Numxim, Free Simulation Software, New Octave, MATLAB Potter's Wheel, Model Maker, Physio Lab, R Dissolve Package, SOM 2. Phoenix WinNonLin slash NLME slash IVIVG slash Trial Simulator. Further references Dedicated software General software